doing, baby? We back at it again. Another hot review for you. Drams on deck. <sighs> today, today, people, we got a heavy hitter. Today, if you're a bourbon person, you already see what time it is. The 1792 full proof is in Z building. Yes, sir. This bad boy is bottled at 61 point, as I was, 62.5% alcohol. The single barrel select wines and spirits. This one right here is a, is a high proof bourbon. I got it's uh, a weeded bourbon. I think it has a what, 15% rye or so. Uh, so as it was, 50% rye bourbon. But this one right here, I've had this bottle for over a year. I think I got this in a quick stop over in, in Jackson, Mississippi. And I've had this bottle for a while. Definitely got way past the neck for it. Had time to air out. I just really wanted to. Uh, do this review, enjoy it. As you can see, it's almost at its wit's end, and I want to get a, 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 a review in for you. Um, 1782 is a very uh, known bourbon. I will say that the full proof is not always available. Normally, when you see 1792, you may see the single barrel. Um, they also have a uh, sweet wheat. Um, they have, I got the other one they had. A sweet wheat, there's a single barrel, the full proof, and it's escaping right now. There's like two, three other expressions they have. But that being said, that normally the single bear is the single barrel is the one I see the most. The single barrel normally goes in the forty dollar range. Actually, I got this one at a good price. I think I only paid like fifty something bucks for this, so I didn't pay too much. Um, so, like, if you get the sweet weed, that may be a little bit more because it's not open, you know, available. And as you know, as any bourbon junkie currently knows. Anything that's hard to get that people want is going to be marked up. If you if you live in an area like I do in Southern California where you have second market prices. Now, if you live in a state regulated store, uh, I'm sorry, in a state that's regulated, uh, like Ohio, Pennsylvania, where I'm from, Ohio, um, you don't have to worry about the markup. But the only problem is availability is going to be very sh short. So they may you may get it, but it's going to come and go that quick. And if you ain't one of the few lucky ones, you're going to be on the outside looking in. That being said, um, this full proof, like I said, man, um, it's, I, I like high proof bourbons, man. I think that the finish is better. I think the flavors stand out more. It's more, it's, it has more bang for your buck on the palate for me. Um, so that's just personal preference. So this is my first and only bottle of 1792. And uh, so I'll review with you guys. That being said, we're going to nose it, taste it, and score it as always. Now, look at this color right here, man. It's like a nice... I would say medium to dark amber color on right here. I don't know if the light is picking up. Hopefully it does. And uh, like I said, man, 1792 is available, but like I said, the full proof is not always available. So I'm glad I had an opportunity. It's a single barrel pick. So that's going to be a single barrel. It's going to be, it may differ uh, from um, uh, barrel to barrel. It may be slightly different, but mine's is 62.5%. And uh, like I said, man, um, I definitely, I think it has a very nice, presentation to the bottle has like a wide shoulders nice neck nice little uh like a copper colored top so i think it has like a little slightly elegant shape to the bottle in my opinion it doesn't come in a box or anything like that it comes as it is so uh, that being said let's see what we got on this nose well it's 62 percent, so you definitely pick up alcohol I definitely, I definitely pick up alcohol, pick up some vanilla, a little, little spice, like a baking spice, like some dates. See if I see any legs coming down, any, any drops. Uh, not so much. I have a little bit, but not much on the, like this. Uh, it is a non-age statement. Uh, from what I read, I, the ballpark of it may be around eight years or so, but that's just a you know, um, that's just that's not a, a hundred percent statement, so don't quote me on that. Um, back to the nose, though, <sighs> that's mostly all I'm picking up. I guess I may be my nose is off, but that's all I'm really picking up, man. Baking spices, some like a little bit of vanilla on this thing. Some dates. That's pretty much what I pick up on this nose. This has a little, I mean, it's 62%, so it has, you know, some alcohol on it as well. 
but uh, it's not like burning my nose, but it's definitely there. Though. It's definitely very, very uh, noticeable. Let's move on to the palette, shall we? Let's go. Cheers. First sip, always coast the palate. Right now, the palate is tingly. It's getting sensitized to the heat. Now that I got that, the second sip normally kind of seeps deeper into my pores, and I can really dig into the notes a little bit more. That being said, second sip is on the way. You know what? So, this is high proof, right? So, if you know my reviews, I always like the high proof. High proofs typically have longer finishes, more turned up uh, flavor. And though the heat is turned up, I do definitely feel the heat. The finish is, you know, has some, you know, it's still going to finish a little bit. But I will say the flavors, for some reason, is not standing out as much as I thought they would. In the background, I fit, I taste a little bit of the, the like maybe a, a, a brown sugar, the vanilla, a little bit like a date, pretty much similar to the palate. But for some reason, my palate, is not, it's, it's, I don't fit, they're not turned up as, as much as I would like. So I feel the heat's turned up, but the flavors seem a slight, not always, but just a little slightly muted. But anyway, it's still a good bourbon. I mean, hell, I only pay $50 for this, so it's not like I, it's going to break the bank. So I think for the for the price point, it works. Um, I don't put this, in my opinion, it's very good, but I don't put this like on the Woodford Reserve, Batch Proof, Elijah Craig, Stag Jr., just to name a couple of my favorite barrel-proof bourbons, or even, a, uh, definitely not even on, on a, a Parker's Heritage. So it's not on those level, but to me, it's still a very good um, uh, high proof bourbon for fifty bucks. If you can find it, I will say the availability is going to sway a lot because, like I said, some spots you can find this on the shelf constantly. In certain states or areas, you won't find the full proof at all. You may see the single barrel, but the full proof you won't see as much. Um, so, on off fifty bucks, not not bad. For, for the 50, for the price point that it, that it brings. That's what I got it for. Now, if you're paying $80, $90, that's a different conversation. But for $50, it's cool. I've added a little water, as you saw a little earlier. We'll see, because it's 62%, it could take a little bit of water to see if it kind of opens the flavors. Unlocks anything different. I was curious to know. Um, I've been pretty much drinking it straight for the most part. But I want to see if a little bit. I've added water here and there, but I'm doing it for review purposes. So I'm going to share that with you. So anyway, a couple drops of water. Let it air out a little bit. Now we're going to go back in. The nose is pretty much the same. I'm not picking up anything different on the nose with a couple drops of water. Let's say let's jump on this palette with the water. Let's see what we got. Nothing's changed. Ooh. So that's the heat. On the finish, the heat's coming to me. But the flavor profile is very similar. Heat turned up, the flavor is not as much. Um, I get, like I said, the little bit of sugar. It seems more, it seems faint compared to what I would expect it to be. 
But anyway, uh, sugar, dates, a little bit of molasses or something like that. Like I said, um, I expect the flavor pro the, the flavors to be like on a seven or eight, but it tastes like a five. So the flavor profile almost seems like it's on it's on an entry level, which is forty percent or eighty proof, even though this is not. Anyway, fifty dollars is not bad. Um, so I've had to rate this seventeen ninety two full proof, one to ten, ten being the best for me. Drams on deck, yes sir. I have to give this a on a bourbon scale. Um, I give this a seven out of a ten. I think it's and, and that's out the door. That's that's including price and availability. Now sometimes price and availability may may drop it a notch, or sometimes it stays the same. But for me, it stays the same because it's not um, like I said. I'm not. It's not super limited per se. And the price point, I think, for what I paid for fifty dollars, fifty fifty five dollars, is very good. So. Uh, that's why I leave it as is. So I give it a solid seven out of a ten, uh, which is pretty good. It, it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's not excellent. Or it's not. I wouldn't say it's great or excellent, but it's good though. For for fifty dollar bourbon, foolproof. It's not bad at all. I mean, I still think even well, Jack Daniels. It's not technically called a bourbon, but I like the Jack Daniels better than this. That's pretty much the same ballpark as far as price. Elijah Craig is better than this. That's in the, pretty much the same ballpark. Um, I think the Old Forester Prohibition 1920 is a little bit is better than this as well. So, um, so that's why I say I, I give this, this, and those are pretty much all those I name is eight or above. Or, or, you know, so I give this a seven out of a ten. Still good though. I like it. Um, it's doable. Uh, if it's in fifty dollar range, I think it's, it's, it's very doable. Um, if you need to add water, add water because, like I say, everyone doesn't uh, uh, like barrel proof or uh, can't take it. So if you can't, then you know add water as need be and go from there. All in all, man, seven out of a ten for me. Seventeen ninety two full proof drams on deck, yes sir. Um, if you haven't had this before, and keep in mind it's a, it's a uh, single barrel, so maybe you're full proof, maybe just regular full proof. By and large, man, I don't know if it's gonna how much it's gonna differ, but if you have had this, uh, hit me in a comment block as always and let me know your opinions of it. The interaction is fun, man, I, and you know. You know, if you don't comment, I don't know what you're thinking. So please interact with me. Uh, you, you have my Instagram in the description box. Um, on my, please check out my Instagram page. I have a lot of pictures. I uh, have a couple of videos in there as well. I have other bottles that I have yet reviewed, and, and some of them I have reviewed. So please check the my Instagram page. I also have a Cash App Patreon. If you choose to support, help the channel grow, I really appreciate it. You can donate whatever you want if you choose to. It's not a big deal. I truly thank you for your time and your and your and everything. Support, your love, everything, man. Um, also, hit the like and the subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are free. Um, please uh, comment, man. I'll be sure to be sure to write you back and let you know my opinions. But back and forth is what's most fun for me. I truly appreciate all the comments. Whether it's good, bad, or different, it's something that you want to see that you haven't seen. Let me know, and I can add that to the uh, show for the up and coming reviews. Um, but till then, sign off, stay safe, uh, wear a mask, and do everything. Ho hopefully, uh, 2021 is going better than 2020 for everyone. So, a lot of things going on in this world, good, bad, and different. So, man, stay safe. Drink uh, whiskeys, tequila, bourbon, cognac, whatever it is that you drink and you enjoy with your friends, your family, loved ones. Just take it back. If you can watch this video and drink it with your loved ones and just get a kick out of it, hopefully that's better for you. And if you if you in the aisle, you never had seventeen ninety two or any other bar reviews, and hopefully you got something out of it. Whether you like it or don't like the uh, the flavor profile, even if just people say, you know what, thank you, Drance, because you saved me fifty dollars because I didn't like the seventeen ninety two flavor profile that you said. That's still good because it, you know you got something out of it. And that's what it's about, man. So anyway, signing off, man. Drams on deck, yes sir.